Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Rotator Cup Expert. I'm Dr. Orcutt, and today we're gonna to talk about something just a tiny bit different, but something interesting, I think, for all of us to consider, and it's called unfractionated collagen type two. We also call it UC2. So if you look in your local pharmacy or on um, Amazon, it's gonna look like this, UC2. What that is, is undenatured type two collagen. So what do we know about this? And why, would we, why do we care about this? Well, one, it's really designed to help people with arthritis, to minimize the pain of arthritis without having to take narcotics or anti-inflammatories, because it's not either one of those technically, right? It's certainly not a narcotic, and you can kind of go some, maybe, maybe not about it truly being uh, anti-inflammatories, you know, it sort of is, but we'll talk about that in a second. So anyway, if we look at joint surfaces, and so this, let's say this is your humeral head, right? And this is the cartilage. So this is called articular cartilage, the cartilage in the joint. That's why I call it articular. This articular cartilage here. And as we grow old, or we have trauma, or um, just wear and tear, we lose some of this cartilage, like here and here. That cartilage kind of goes away. And when that goes away, and you're left with a defect in the cartilage, and then, then you have exposed bone. And then what people call that? You know what the people call that? What do people call something that is, that's arthritic in its bone, on bone, right? So you heard the term bone on bone arthritis? Well, that's what this is. When this cartilage wears off, then you have bone on bone arthritis. So in shoulder, obviously that's one of the reasons why we do a shoulder replacement. And if we have this bone on bone, plus we don't have any rotator cuff up here, then we do a reverse total shoulder. So before we get there, and young people like me in our 50s, and people who are kind of in the middle, we're not, we don't have enough arthritis to say, hey, we're gonna cut this off and replace it with metal, but we have enough pain that it hurts in day to day or if we're doing more active stuff, then we wanna think about, well, what else can we do? We talk about other things like anti-inflammatories and activity modifications, but UC2 appears to be something that's important. Now, this is very similar People will remember about glucosamine and chondroitin. And people still use glucosamine and chondroitin. Uh, my father used it, it somewhat works for him. And I think that's the way it actually is. It somewhat works for lots of people. If you look at the studies, and I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself, but you can look at the studies, UC2 probably works better than glucosamine and chondroitin. Type two collagen, which is this, forms about 90% of articular cartilage. Um, Type two collagen is in other stuff and different kind of bone, different kind of cartilage, but it's really high in this articulate cartilage, okay? Quite honestly, people don't know, know exactly how this works, but the idea is, and what we look like in the research, is we take this UC2 and we give it to people, then it affects how um, a certain kind of immune cells called killer T cells, how they respond. And so it's really interesting because actually this happens both in rheumatoid arthritis as well as osteoarthritis. So UC2 can be beneficial in both. And what we call this is a nutraceutical. A nutraceutical, not really a pharmaceutical because it's not really made in a lab. It's processed in a lab. So that's why it's called a nutraceutical. So typically what happens is we take a chicken sternum. So the rib, the kind of the sternum of the chicken, grind it up in a certain kind of process, which I don't completely understand. We grind it up and actually take that and that's what becomes UC2. So then UC2, we take typically 40 milligrams, which is the typical dose um, that they, they've used in um, studies. They've used lower doses that seem to not work quite as well. They use the higher dose, which is the 40 milligrams, seems to work pretty well, and it doesn't seem to have any significant side effects. Obviously, everything you put in your body has to have some sort of side effect, right? I mean, if you're allergic to eggs, then probably UC2 may not be a, a safe thing to, to take because there could be some immune properties that would make you allergic to that too. So I am a doctor, I'm not your doctor, so you should discuss this with your doctor before taking it. Uh, this is not direct medical advice, it is opinion, my opinion, as far as what's going on, and you need to make your own decisions with your doctor as far as what you should and shouldn't take. So again, it can work both in rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. When we look at the studies, there's a tons of studies back in the, from 2000 all the way up until now, and actually recently there's been a new, new article within the next last six months or so about this, that it works. And I think it's really interesting that we slowly get to this place where it looks like it's pretty safe, it's not habit forming, it doesn't appear to have any major, major side effects, 
and it works pretty well. It works in two ways. It works works to help decrease pain, which is awesome, right? And we can see it de helps decrease degradation of cartilage. So when this stuff flakes off and it gets in the body, the body takes it, processes it, and gets rid of it. It gets rid of it in the urine. And so if we, we can see how much you're degrading your cartilage by looking at specific peptides or stuff in the urine. And we know that if people who take UC2 for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, that's, that stuff in the urine is less. So super exciting to me. And again, this is really rotator cuff channel, right? However, lots of times, most of us, again, rotator cuff disease is really a disease of middle age, 40s, 50s, 60s, into the, into the uh, elderly population. So most of us, <clears throat> in addition to have a rotator cuff issue, most of us probably have some arthritis that we might benefit from taking a supplement such as this. Again, check with your doctor. Uh, there's been tons and tons of studies. Most studies, I think every study that I've read, um, it shows benefit. Actually, interesting enough, it shows specific, there's a study that shows specific benefit more so than actually acetaminophen, so Tylenol, by itself, and they did Tylenol by itself, then Tylenol with glucose, with, with UC2, and it showed that the UT, UC2 plus Tylenol has better effect than just Tylenol. Also compared uh, placebo, so sugar pill with, against UC2, showed that UC2 has a better results as far as pain, um, pain control, uh, symptomatic uh, relief. And then they compared glucosamine and chondroitin with UC2 as well, and again, shows a significant improvement uh, in the UC2 group and not so much in the glucosamine chondroitin. I hope this helps. So as you guys know, I have a website, mybodyprotector.com. If you would like to, to go there and see all the various products and the different things we have there, please do. I have an email, info, mybodyprotector.com, if you wanna get involved in my mailing list. My mailing list talks about what's going on in our life, in this, this company, in this um, family we have to try to improve information, simplify information so people who don't have a medical degree can understand what's going on in your shoulder. We actually have a private Facebook group. If you comment in the comments, I want to join the private Facebook group, I will give you the link to be able to get to the private Facebook group. Why the private Facebook group may be important to you is because my plan is, and I, I put a survey out there, my plan is to actually have a um, some sort of live event uh, where you can ask me questions. If you're part of the private Facebook group, then you'll have the access to that. So we can talk and, and, and I, it looks like probably some evening, uh, as far as we're talking about East Coast time, probably somewhere around seven o'clock in an in a evening, a weekday, we'll do that in the near future. I'm trying to figure out how to logistically to do that because I am a full-time busy orthopedic surgeon. So I gotta figure out how to make sure that I am available. If I'm gonna commit to this live, I need to make sure I'm available to do that for you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Please thumbs up this video. Um, please comment. Again, if you wanna be a part of the private Facebook group, please message me and we'll, we'll give you that. And also, if there's something else you want me to talk about, I have tons and tons of videos and make sure you look through the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, because there's tons of videos and lots and lots of things about the shoulder. Um, and I would like to be able to talk about more things that you want me to talk about, that you're interested in. So please give those um, opinions too, so I can help and we can uh, go forward and learn more together. And I can teach you some stuff. I can break it down uh, simply and have a good night and we will see you next time.